How's everyone doing? Well, welcome. Five minutes of faith and fitness, and we're going to see how we can get fit physically, fit spiritually, to serve not self, but to serve others. And today we're going to take a look at God's Word. And I love, there was a missionary that he was a bodybuilder and he went out to Africa. And the African tribe was so impressed at this guy's physique. He's like, wow, that's amazing. What do you do with all of that? You know, this humongous guy. And he goes, well, it's easier for me to show you than to just explain to you. So he started going to his bicep routine, his tricep, his back his calves, his obliques. Um, he was going through all of his poses and just sweating and going through how he would pose on stage. And the African tribal leader said, wow, that is impressive. But what else do you do with that? And he said, that's pretty much it. I, I, I pose for a living. I, I go on stage and I pose. The leader says, what a waste, all those muscles, and that's all you do is pose. And I feel that so many times, us as Christians are just posing, hanging out with our Bibles at church, praising, raising our hands at church, maybe just attending a missionary trip, whatever that may be, by just showing up and by just posing. But through Monday through Saturday, not utilizing those spiritual muscles to go out and do, right? They hear great sermons. They come on Sunday. They come on Wednesday. They hear these things. They hear these things. And they do all the right things on the outside. And they, they wear the right t-shirt. Jesus loves you. You know, all these things, the bumper stickers, and they just pose. And it's for looks. What a shame, the, this tribal leader was saying, that's all, what else do you do? And in the book of James, it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. So many times we can just hear great advice, hear great mentorship and, and, and uh, wisdom from God's word, but are we applying it to our life and going out and doing? The doing part, it's a difficult part. The application of what we've just read, what we've just heard, and now applying it to our life to make change, to be more and more Christ-like. I'm speaking to myself as well, not just you, but it's a good check to say, hey, Am I just hanging out and hanging around and just maybe at church and just just there to just hear good worship music and uh, want to meet, get my feelings in the right place and I want to be in a happy place? Is, is that you? Or are you being convicted of the things that you're not doing and then going out and by faith, allowing God to guide and direct you during the week? It's a process right? We're to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, right? But do not be conformed to this world. It's so easy to be conformed. One foot in, one foot out. How far can we get into the line and still be a Christian, still enjoy the pleasures of the world, but still be in bounds, right? Instead, it's how far away can we get so the enemy has no foothold in my life. I pray that we would be convicted by those things that God is ministering to us. Maybe at church, maybe through our family members, God's word, maybe on the, on the radio, maybe on, in, in worship songs, whatever that may be. Those things that are difficult, yeah. God's called us to get comfortable with the uncomfortable, not get comfortable with the comfortable. That's the world. But we are to get uncomfortable. It's okay, it's building character, right? God did it. He went to the cross, it was very uncomfortable, but he loved you and he loves me. God bless, go out and be a doer of the word.